he might miss what he wants to show us, might disappear. Yeah, he's at the Cliff House in San Francisco. Bob, what's going on out there? Darn you, high tide. <laughs> Darn you, high tide. My story that we were here to show you this morning, you guys, is washing away as we speak. You're looking at the remnants. I hope you can see the designs down there of sand art, if you like alliteration, a playa painting, beach art. It's all the creation of this gentleman right here, a local artist, Andres Amador. Is it hard to see your work uh, disappear after you spend all that time on it? Actually, I love it. It kind of allows me to let go of it. it washes the slate clean so I can work fresh on a new design. Well, guys, through the miracle of videotape, we do have a video of what he was uh, working on earlier. You started around uh, 6.30 this morning here at this beach, Ocean Beach, just uh, down uh, off the, the cliff house. And, and tell us exactly what is it that you're doing? We're using rakes and uh, creating designs in the beach. And today it was, um, we were kind of riffing off of some patterns that were already on the beach, and so we started going with it, and uh, and this is the result. Um, it seems like it'd be very time-consuming. I mean, I, I've you know been on the beach and you draw a design with your toes or your finger, and that's it. <laughs> um, this is taking up an entire looks like a couple acres. It takes a couple of hours, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. and, and why do you do it? Where do you get your inspiration from? Why do I do it? Wow. Um, Whew, that's a biggie. Where I get my inspiration? Nature. Nature is the biggest source of inspiration ever. And this one, um, I'm moving more and more towards natural forms. I started out with very geometric. I started with crop circles and studying crop circles. And well, you're that guy. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and I, I got out of wheat and I moved into the sand and, uh, and then started moving more into more natural forms and figuring out what is the basis behind uh, kind of the fractal quality of natural form. So are you like a math nut who's trying to translate it to art? Is that what you're getting at? I'm a math nut who's terrible at math. Okay. Yeah, looking at some of the other ones you've done uh, in the past, and you've been doing this for five years, I, I guess I'm curious, How do you, you're on the ground doing this. You don't have the perspective we have up here from, from the cliff. So how do you, uh, I guess, how do you make it work when you're down there on the ground and translate it? That's been the biggest question. And the reason I was doing the geometric forms before um, was that you just follow a design and it, you can keep it uh, in proportion when you use ropes as compasses and so forth. It's all very easy to do. It's how the, the pyramids are done. Sure. This, on the other hand, um, the way natural form de develops is building off of itself. So one part leads to the next part, leads to the next part. So um, it kind of grows. And that's how you can kind of keep it together. And then I come up to the cliffside and I'll look down and see if I want to change something. And I can walkie-talkie to my my assistant. Oh, gotta, a little bit of technology. All right. and, and, and I can you fill it over a, here. You always take a picture? Always. That's the only way you can observe that, it, I guess. That's the only thing I, keep, I take back from these. Yes. All right. Hey, Andres, nice meeting you. And if someone's walking down the beach, uh, the, the rule of etiquette, just don't walk on your art, huh? Feel free at the beach. The beach. This, the whole the whole space is art. Walk all over it. It doesn't affect it, really. All right. Hey, you guys want to get another look at this uh, before yeah, it goes away? Yeah, let's see what's left Hey, Rob, it. go about. Rob, go about 10 more spots. Come on, Rob. Move up a little bit. No. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, go to our website at NBC11. Ah! <laughs> dot com. Look for the featured links. <laughs> oh, Rob's not. Rob's going to make me add another 10 pounds to me next time he shoots me on TV. All right, guys. Yeah, you've got to be very nice to your photographer. Very important. Definitely. Thanks for the look there. Appreciate it. <laughs> Kind of a nice day to get out to the beach today, huh? I think yeah, so, yeah. but probably take a jacket a little cool. Yeah, 